Hello students, welcome to my channel Omnigan. So this is the first uh, lesson for class 12 Indigo and this is a story written by Louis Fisher and uh, this is the first lesson as I ha have promised all of you that I will be starting class 12. Um, so class 12 students, this is for you and uh, I shall continue with uh, the remaining lessons also, you know, slowly, slowly I'll be uploading those also. Okay, don't worry. Uh, this is the first lesson indigo okay full story explained for class 12 and this is my name i hope all of you know this okay so the story in short now you see i have explained the story in short okay and i would like to request you at the outset itself i would like to request you that please go through the book very nicely okay go through the book very nicely because i have explained the story in short here whichever details are important i have put that thing Okay, because the story is very big and if I go line by line or paragraph by paragraph, it will take a long, long time. The video will become big or else it will, the video will, uh, you know, will be divided into two, three parts. That will again, you know, uh, break that spontaneity, the continuity. Okay, so that is why I have explained the story in short, just for you to understand the basic, basics of the story. Okay, so I request all the students, please, aap log book reading, ek bar kar ka aur haath mein book rakhiye. And if you have any doubt, please, uh, you can uh, obviously comment in the comment section of uh, my channel in my channel. Okay, so story in short. So as you know, the story has been written by Louis Fisher and uh, uh, Mahatma Gandhi. Actually, Gandhiji is narrating the story to Louis Fisher. What happened when he went to a village called Champaran, which is in Bihar. Okay, so let us without any delay, let us start the story. So Louis Fisher, Fisher first met Gandhi in 1942. At his ashram in Sevagram. Okay, so Louis Fisher uh, first met Gandhi in the year 1942, where in Gandhi's ashram, which is in Sevagram. Okay. Next point, you see, Gandhi told Fisher the story how he drove away British in 1917. So Gandhi ji, jo hai, Louis Fisher ko, the writer of the story, unko ye story bata rahe hai ke, ke, kaise unhone 1917 mein British ko India se bhaga tha. And this is considered to be the first, uh, you know. Uh, disobedience movement the first civil uh, disobedience movement okay you can look at the book also you can see the book also then you see it was in 1916 that gandhi was approached by a peasant so 1916 mein ye ghatna hua tha. it happened in 1916 and in 1917 gandhi ji is telling this story to the writer okay louis fisher so it was in 1916 that gandhi was approached by a peasant whose name was rajkumar shukla and this fellow Rajkumar Shukla was from the village Champaran, which is in Bihar. So 1916, uh, 16 May, Rajkumar Shukla Nam Kai Garni, a person called Rajkumar Shukla, he came to Gandhi ji and uh, he was a peasant actually, a farmer. Rajkumar Shukla was a farmer and he came to Gandhi ji and requested him uh, that you come with me to Champaran, which is in Bihar, because the Britishers are actually, uh, you know, very cruel towards the peasants very cruel towards the farmers actually so please come once and visit my village and try to solve our problem okay 1916 may remember the dates and this story is actually filled with dates okay so remember the dates gandhi ji had actually gone to attend the december 1916 annual convention of the indian national party uh, congress party in lucknow so 1916 may actually gandhi ji had gone to attend uh, the December annual convention of the Indian National Congress Party, which was in Lucknow. So, Gandhiji was in Lucknow at that time. And there were around two, uh, 2,301 delegates and some other important visitors also. So, kuch aur important visitors bhi the. So, Gandhiji was in Lucknow. Mein the. And you see this Rajkumar Shukla, he went there and he wanted Gandhi to visit Champaran. This is Champaran village. Hai. And do something for the condition of peasants there. So, wo jo peasants se, bichare peasants, you know, the poor peasants there, uh, this Rajkumar Shukla, he wanted Gandhi ji to solve their problem. We will learn about the problem, uh, you know, very soon. And the Champaran peasants were actually basically sharecroppers. Okay. We will learn what is sharecroppers actually. Sharecropper in the sense that, uh, kya hota to work because it was British rule. So at that time, what happened is that these peasants actually, if say for example, one peasant, he has a, a piece of land, a small piece of land. So in that land, he used to do farming, but that land actually, the landlord had occupied that land. Landlords, they used to occupy the lands 
and whatever uh, farming they did these uh, peasants these farmers whatever uh, crops they grew they had to pay a huge amount of share to the britishers to the landlords as well as to the britishers also so after you know after uh, giving away these uh, you know tax taxes or whatever crops they grew after giving uh, giving away a big share big amount of share to the landlords and to the um, britishers nothing was left with the peasants or nothing used to be uh, left with the uh, uh, peasants here to kuch bachta nahi tha farmers ke paas pehle to landlords ko dena padta tha fir britishers ko bhi dena padta tha aur ek bahut bhari bharkam amount bhi dena padta tha and sometimes uh you know wo jo crops grew karte the the crops that they grew from there also they had to give a big uh, share to the landlords to the britishers okay and these landlords had a very good uh connection to the with the britishers ye landlords inse collect karte the paisa from the farmers these landlords used to collect from the farmers and these landlords would be giving to the britishers also okay and some of the lands belong directly to the british people so farmer zameen to farmer ka hai you know the land belongs to the farmer but the farmer did not earn anything because a large amount of crops or money was given to the landlords the britishers okay so ant mein unke paas farmers ke paas kuch bachta nahi tha to farmers jo hai wo completely uh, the farmers grew very you know they were fed up of this system actually so hum log keh sakte hain ki rajkumar shukla is a kind of a representative of the फार्मर्स वो पूरे फार्मर्स के जो है रिप्रेजेंटेटिव बन के गांधी जी के पास आए उनकी मदद मांगने ही केम टू गांधी जी टू टेक हिज टू सीक हिज हेल्प ओके एंड राजकुमार ऑल्सो एज वी ऑल नो दैट राजकुमार राव राजकुमार शुक्ला एम सॉरी ऐसे राजकुमार राव राजकुमार शुक्ला वॉज ऑल्सो अ शेयर प्रॉपर ओके ही वॉज ऑल्सो वेरी पोअर प्रेजेंट ही वॉज ऑल्सो ऑल्सो अ शेयर प्रॉपर तो वो गए गांधी जी के पास एंड ही वॉज इलिटरेट ऑब्वियसली हीज अ फार्मर सो ही वॉज इलिटरेट बट ही वॉज डिटर्मिन वो पूरे जो है एकदम कमर कस के गए थे कि मैं आज गांधी जी को लेके ही जाऊंगा और एटलीस्ट आई विल टॉक टू गांधी जी अबाउट माई प्रॉब्लम और अबाउट द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ दी चंपारण पीजेंस ठीक है तो वो पूरे डिटर्मिन थे एंड यू सी ही हैड कम टू द कांग्रेस सेशन टू कंप्लेन अबाउट द चिरेनी ऑफ द ब्रिटिशर्स ओवर पीजेंस तो वो एक्चुअली उस session mein gaye the actually that convention no that was going on where gandhi ji was there actually in lucknow he had directly go- gone there and he went there actually to complain to gandhi ji about the uh, problems that the peasants were facing and the tyranny of the britishers over peasants ye jo atyachar jo ho raha tha uh, farmers ke upar ye sab jo hai pure details mein batane ke liye he rajkumar shukla he went to gandhi ji and actually someone had suggested him also to speak to gandhi <coughs> so wo you know when rajkumar shukla he went to the um uh, went to the convention jab wo us meeting mein gaye convention mein gaye to he started discussing this problem to some people there and somebody suggested him that you do one thing rajkumar you do one thing you go to gandhi ji and tell your pro- problems directly to him he will definitely understand that is why he now approached gandhi ji so now gandhi ji was very busy at that time because he was traveling from one part of the country uh, one part of the state to the other part of the state okay from one state to other state then to other state so gandhi ji had several appointments so he couldn't give time to rajkumar so here you see that gandhi had other appointments also in kanpur kanpur is here but the modern name is kanpur and other parts of india but rajkumar jo hai wo pure are hue the you know rajkumar was determined that gandhi ji wherever you go i will go with you and whenever you go get time i will take you with me to champaran to rajkumar bhi jo hai wo chhodne wale nahi the rajkumar was not a person to leave gandhi ji so wherever gandhi ji went rajkumar shukla also followed gandhi ji theek hai now due to his persistent efforts he was successful in bringing gandhi to champaran after a few months few months to kuch mahino ke baad jo hai jab gandhi ji free ho gaye and gandhi ji actually saw that uh, this fellow rajkumar is uh, his problem is very genuine okay his problem is very genuine so gandhi ji finally became convinced that i must go with him and that is why gandhi ji now agreed okay so after few months gandhi ji uh, came to champaran village along with rajkumar shukla now on the way to champaran from calcutta up uh, Gandhi ji had actually said that uh, Rajkumar actually I have to visit 
कलकत्ता आल्सो फॉर अ मीटिंग सो यू कम ओवर देयर तुम कलकत्ता चले आओ और वहां पे मेरे लिए वेट करो यू वेट फॉर मी इन कलकत्ता आई विल फिनिश माय मीटिंग एंड देन आई विल गो विद यू टू चंपारण तो अकॉर्डिंगली यू सी राजकुमार शुक्ला ही वेंट टू कलकत्ता एंड ही वाज वेटिंग देयर एंड आफ्टर वेटिंग फॉर यू नो अ लॉन्ग टाइम ही फाइनली गॉट गांधी एंड ही ब्रॉट हिम टू चंपारण फ्रॉम कलकत्ता ओके and gandhi in order to understand the problems of the share croppers decided to meet a lawyer and this lawyer is rajendra prasad to gandhi ji ne sabse pehle ye decide kiya that in order to understand ke ye jo farmer ka jo problem chal raha hai you know the problems that these farmers are facing in order to understand these problems i must first visit a lawyer because a lawyer only can tell the problems in dt because see the, these farmers are not literate so they will not be able to explain in detail about the problem the technical details of the problem these peasants will not be this illiterate peasants will not be able to tell me so gandhi ji thought that let me meet a lawyer and this lawyer was rajendra prasad and rajendra prasad in patna so gandhi ji first met uh, rajendra prasad in patna and then he met professor j b kriplani at muzaffarpur theek hai to pehle pehle kiske sath meeting hua rajendra prasad ke sath और दूसरा मीटिंग गांधी जी ने किया किसके साथ प्रोफेसर जेबी कृपलान ठीक है एट मुजफ्फरपुर अब व्हेन गांधी जी वेंट टू राजेंद्र प्रसाद हाउस राजेंद्र प्रसाद वाज आउट ऑफ टाउन तो उस वक्त राजेंद्र प्रसाद घर पे नहीं थे वो आउट ऑफ टाउन थे एंड गांधी जी एज यू नो गांधी जी वोर व्हाइट लॉयन क्लोथ सिंपल क्लोथ एंड ही डिड नॉट लुक लाइक वेरी बिग पर्सन यू सी गांधी जी महात्मा गांधी जी नोन एज फादर ऑफ द नेशन राइट बट his attire koi agar unko nahi pehchante if somebody does not know gandhi ji then uh, from his looks from gandhi ji's looks anybody would think that he is a poor person he is illiterate he does not know anything unka ye looks tha kyunki gandhi ji ka ek uh, ek philosophy tha gandhi ji had a philosophy simple living and high thinking one of the best philosophies ever simple living and high thinking this is not in your textbook i'm just giving you a, an extra uh, knowledge about this simple living and high thinking theek hai simple living and high thinking ye tha gandhi ji ka philosophy okay this is a principle of gandhi ji now what happened is that when when gandhi ji went uh, to rajendra prasad's house with uh, rajkumar shukla uh, so rajendra prasad servants actually missed to gandhi to be a peasant to be a farmer from his close actually rajendra prasad ji ke jo uh, servants the unhone socha ke rajkumar shukla ka jaisa गांधी जी भी जो है एक फार्मर है सिंपल फार्मर एंड एट दैट टाइम कास्ट सिस्टम वाज प्रिवेलेंट सो दे डिड नॉट अलाउ गांधी जी टू ड्रॉ वाटर फ्रॉम द वे तो गांधी जी को उन्होंने अलाउ नहीं किया कि वो कुएं का पानी जो है वो कुएं को छुए यू नो दे डिड नॉट अलाउ हिम टू इवन टच द वेल बिकॉज अनटचेबल्स जो है उस वक्त जो अनटचेबल थे उनको अलाउड नहीं था कॉमन रिवर से पानी लेना कॉमन वेल से पानी लेना उनको अलाउड नहीं था दैट थिंग सो दैट इज वाई दे डिड नॉट अलाउ हिम ओके टू टच द वेल लेस्ट द वेल वुड बी पॉल्यूटेड फ्रॉम द टच ऑफ गांधी जी ओके देन यू सी गांधी जी सेंट अ टेलीग्राम टू जे बी कृपलानी तो वहां से जो है गांधी जी ने जे बी कृपलानी को एक टेलीग्राम भेजा ओके Uh, और जेबी कृपलानी कौन थे जेबी कृपलानी वाज़ अ प्रोफेसर ऑफ द आर्ट्स कॉलेज ऑफ मुजफ्फरपुर ठीक है आर्ट्स कॉलेज ऑफ मुजफ्फरपुर के वो प्रोफेसर थे एंड ही हैड सीन गांधी जी हैड सीन कृपलानी इन टेगोस शांति निकेतन स्कूल तो गांधी जी ऑलरेडी न्यू दिस प्रोफेसर जेबी कृपलानी बिकॉज बिफोर ऑल्सो दे हैड मेट वेयर दे हैड मेट इन टेगोस शांति निकेतन स्कूल तो टेगोर के शांति निकेतन स्कूल में गांधी जी ने ऑलरेडी जेबी कृपलानी को देखा था तो उन्होंने एक टेलीग्राम भेज दिया दैट आई एम कमिंग टू योर प्लेस ओके बिकॉज ऑफ दिस 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 प्रॉब्लम आई आई एम कमिंग टू योर प्लेस एंड प्लीज गिव मी द डिटेल्स ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम तो कृपलानी यू सी ही वाज वेरी हैप्पी एंड ही वाज एक्चुअली वेटिंग एट द रेलवे स्टेशन विद मेनी स्टूडेंट्स तो बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट जो है जेबी कृपलानी के बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट जो है वो ऑलरेडी दे वर वेटिंग एट द रेलवे स्टेशन एंड गांधी जी स्टेड इन जेबी कृपलानी हाउस फॉर थ्री डेज तो तीन दिन वो वहां रहे नाउ देर अ लाइन इन योर बुक which says that it was quite unusual for a professor like jb kriplani to help gandhi ji why is it unusual why was it unusual it was unusual because kriplani was a government employee kriplani was a government employee 
okay because this arts college of muzaffarpur it was a government college actually okay and uh, jb kriplani was a government employee okay but why was it unusual that jb kriplani was helping gandhi ji it, it was considered very unusual why because you see it's very simple to understand government employee means whose government was it at that time obviously the british government obviously the british government and jb kriplani was helping gandhi ji who was against the british hai na to yahan pe here you see gandhi ji was against the british and jb kriplani was helping gandhi ji which indirectly means that kriplani was also against the british right so being a government employee being you know jb kriplani was already working under the british government and instead of that despite that fact jb kriplani was helping gandhi ji by going against the government because being a government employee he should uh, obey the government orders but here he is going against and helping gandhi ji that is why it is considered unusual isliye ise unusual kaha jata hai theek hai aur us waqt jo hai that time you see nobody you know there were very few people who went against uh, government orders okay बहुत इंडियन लोग भी थे देर वेर मेनी इंडियन पीपल एक्चुअली हु हैड गिवन अप हु हैड रिजाइन फ्रॉम द ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट पोस्ट ओके इन इंडिया एंड दे हेल्प यू नो टू गेट फ्रीडम फॉर आर कंट्री हमारे कंट्री को फ्री इंडिपेंडेंस दिलाने में उनका बहुत बड़ा हाथ है बाई गोइंग अगेंस्ट द गवर्नमेंट द ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट दमसेल्स ओके नाउ बाई द टाइम गांधी रीच Champaran the news of his mission had spread like wildfire to jab tak because gandhi ji by that time he was very famous and when gandhi ji reached champaran the news of his arrival wo jo champaran mein pahunche wo news pura spread ho gaya it spread like a wildfire okay even it reached the british ears also british ke kanon mein bhi ye news pahunch chuka tha farmers were obviously happy because somebody like gandhi ji had come himself come to help them whereas on the other hand okay on the contrary uh, ये जो ब्रिटिश लोग थे ये थोड़े से गुस्से में थे दे वर एंग्री एक्चुअली ओके नाउ लेट्स सी व्हाट इज गोइंग टू हैपन नाउ गांधी लर्न दैट अरेबल एरियाज वर डिवाइडेड इनटू लार्ज एस्टेट्स ओन्ड बाय द इंग्लिशमैन एंड वर वर्क्ड बाय द पेरेंट्स तो जो फार्मिंग एरियाज थे मैंने आपको अभी एग्जांपल दिया जस्ट गिव यू द एग्जांपल टू से दिस इज अ लैंड ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर फार्मर ओके से हिज नेम इज ए ओके इट वाज हिज लैंड बट एक्चुअली दिस लैंड वाज ऑक्युपाइड बाय द ब्रिटिश and the farmer is working like a labor here he has to pay money also plus he has to pay a share from his crop also and after giving money tax money means here tax and after paying tax and paying share from his crops nothing was left with the farmer so the farmer's condition all the farmer's condition conditions were very bad ki jitne bhi farmer the unke condition jo hai bahut hi kharab the theek hai This was the first thing that Gandhi ji learned, and this was obviously uh, a kind of an injustice. ये तो unfair हो गया ना कि land मेरा, लेकिन मैं अपने land पे मैं कुछ नहीं कर सकता. I cannot. This land belongs to me, but I cannot do anything on my land. Okay. And indigo was the main commercial crop. The indigo एक crop है, and it was the main commercial crop. Commercial मतलब ऐसा कोई product जिसके साथ जो है लोग business बहुत ज़्यादा करते हैं. ठीक है, so indigo was the main commercial crop of the area. As the landlords forced all the tenants to grow indigo on 15% of their land and surrender the entire crop as rent. तो यहाँ पे क्या हुआ? Let me explain you this thing. Okay, again let me draw this diagram to explain you this. Say this is the land of a farmer, and out of this whole land, 15% in this area, in 15% of this area. They had to grow indigo. They had to grow indigo crop. So, यहाँ पे इस area में उन लोगों को they had to grow indigo crop in this area. Now you see that from this 15 percent, from this 15 percent, the farmers could not keep any profit. The entire 15 percent would go to the landlords, and that again would go to the Britishers. ठीक है? Tenants मतलब क्या? हम लोग बोलते हैं tenants, भारा बैठने वाले लोग. Okay, tenants. But actually Farmers are not tenants. This land belongs to the farmer. So farmer is the actual landlord here. So, farmer to this land ka malik hai. Lekin nahi. 
मालिक तो है ओनली इन नेम बट एल्स जो है ये बिल्कुल लेबर का जैसा काम करते थे ये फार्मर्स तो इस एरिया में यू नो इन दिस एरिया वॉट एवर क्रॉप से ग्रू दिस फिफ्टीन परसेंट ऑफ द एरिया वॉट एवर क्रॉप से ग्रू दिस फिफ्टीन परसेंट ऑफ द शेयर एंटायर शेयर वुड गो टू द ब्रिटिशर्स एंड एज रेंट ठीक है ये चला जाता था और बाकी जो है ये फार्मर को बिलोंग करता था एंड फ्रॉम दिस ऑल्सो दे हैव टू पे टैक्स टू द गवर्नमेंट सो डबल बर्डन ऑन द फार्मर आप लोगों ने लगान मूवी देखा होगा ना उस टाइप का जो है ये सिचुएशन है यहाँ पे ओके द सिचुएशन इज समथिंग लाइक द मूवी लगान दे हैव टू पे ह्यूज टैक्सेस ठीक है अब देखिए नाउ लुक एट द सिचुएशन हियर दैट दिस फिफ्टीन परसेंट एरिया ऑन विच दीज फार्मर्स ग्रू द इंडिगो दे द फार्मर्स डिड नॉट गेट इवन वन परसेंट प्रॉफिट ऑल्सो फ्रॉम हियर वो मेहनत करते थे दे यूज टू वर्क वेरी हार्ड इन ऑर्डर टू ग्रो द क्रॉप्स बट दे डिड नॉट गेट अ सिंगल पेनी ऑल्सो फ्रॉम दिस फिफ्टीन परसेंट सो इट इज इनजस्टिस इट इज अनफेयर ठीक है आई होप यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस थिंग ओके नॉट वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड देन यू सी वेन द लैंड लॉज लर्न दैट सिंथेटिक इंडिगो सिंथेटिक इंडिगो इज अगेन अ काइंड ऑफ यू नो काइंड ऑफ एन इंडिगो एक्चुअली ठीक है सिंथेटिक इंडिगो हैड बीन डेवलप्ड बाई द जर्मन्स दीज लैंड लॉर्ड्स आर्क द टीनैंस टीनैंस मीन द फार्मर्स टू पे देम कंपेंसेशन फॉर रिलीजिंग देम फ्रॉम फिफ्टीन परसेंट अरेंजमेंट दैट दे हैड साइन अब यहां पे एक और यू नो वन अनदर बिग बॉर्डन केम अपॉन द फार्मर्स और वो बॉर्डन क्या था ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दे वर ग्रोइंग नॉर्मल इंडिगो बट वेन द लैंड लॉर्ड लर्न दैट सिंथेटिक इंडिगो ओके सिंथेटिक इंडिगो हैड बीन डेवलप बाई द जर्मन विच वॉज कंसिडर टू बी मोर एडवांस ये और ज्यादा एडवांस था तो इन लैंड लॉर्ड ने क्या किया इन्होंने टीडेंस को कहा कि अब हमें जो है तुम अपने इस 15 परसेंट लैंड में से तुम हमें पूरा अमाउंट पे करो फॉर रिलीजिंग देम फ्रॉम 15 परसेंट तुम पूरा ये हमें लैंड जो है तुम पूरा ये 15 परसेंट हमें जो है इसका पैसा तुम हमें भर के दो बिकॉज वी आर नाउ ग्रोइंग टू गोइंग टू ग्रो सिंथेटिक इंडिगो सो यू पे आस कंपेंसेशन मनी नाउ वाई शुड द फार्मर्स पे कंपेंसेशन मनी Why should the farmers pay compensation money? But no, a heavy burden came upon the farmers that no, you will have to pay us compensation for releasing them. Them here means that uh, indigo, normal indigo plantation that they were doing previously. You have to pay us compensation for releasing them from that fifteen percent arrangement that they had already signed. समझ में आ गया आप लोगों को वो fifteen percent तुम हमें पूरा अमाउंट पे करो नाउ दिस ब्रॉट मिजरी टू देंट एंड वॉन्टेड गांधी टू हेल्प हिम नाउ फाइनली यू दिस बिकेम समथिंग लाइक ओवर बर्डन हो चुके थे वो लोग वो पूरे ओवर बर्डन होके उन्होंने कहा कि नहीं राजकुमार शुक्ला जो है वो जाएगा और गांधी जी को बुला के लेके आएगा एंड दे गांधी जी वुड सॉल्व देयर प्रॉब्लम दे हैड हाई एक्सपेक्टेशन फ्रॉम गांधी जी गांधी जी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कलेक्टेड ऑल द फैक्ट्स एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन सबसे पहला चीज जो है फर्स्ट एंड थिंग इज दैट टू कलेक्ट द टेक्निकल इन्फॉर्मेशन एक्चुअली वॉट वॉज है डिटेल्स ऑल द फैक्ट्स ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑल द स्टैटिस्टिक्स ही ऑल्सो डेल्ट विद द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द ब्रिटिश ऑफ दिस ब्रिटिश पीपल दे स्टार्टेड यू नो मिस बिहेविंग विद गांधी जी बिकॉज दे हर्ट दैट गांधी जी हैड कम सो दे ट्राई टू स्टॉप गांधी जी यू नो बाई वॉट एवर मीन्स दे कुड जैसे तैसे करके वो गांधी जी को स्टॉप करना चाहते थे बट गांधी जी वॉज नॉट गोइंग टू स्टॉप एंड वाइल गोइंग टू इन्वेस्टिगेट द मेल ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ अ पीजेंट इन अ विलेज नियर मोतीहारी गांधी वॉज ऑर्डर टू रिटर्न मिड वे तो कोई एक पीजन था देर वॉज सम पीजेंट देर वॉज वन पीजेंट एक्चुअली एंड गांधी जी वॉज गोइंग टू दैट पीजेंट टू सॉल्व इज प्रॉब्लम एंड ऑन द वे गांधी जी वॉज स्टॉप बाई द ब्रिटिश पीपल दैट यू गो बैक यू कैनॉट यू कैनॉट क्रॉस दिस रोड यू गो बैक Gandhi ji became very angry why can't i go back uh, why should i go back why can't i go to the prison okay but the british ordered gandhi ji to return half way only through half way only gandhi ji ko bhaga diya wahan se okay to return midway and was served a summons to report to the court the following morning to so next day gandhi ji ko court mein bulaya gaya <coughs> they called gandhi ji to the court next morning why that you give us report why have you come to champaran what is your work in champaran ओके okay? तुम ये रिपोर्ट हमें सबमिट करो कल सुबह कोर्ट में आके 
now gandhi ji was definitely very angry and all gandhi ji's followers also were very very angry gandhi ji ke jo followers hai wo bhi bahut gusse mein the ke are gandhi ji had done nothing to the british people he uh, had just come to help us but british log to waise hi the unka jo hai buddhi jo hai mota buddhi tha you know their heads were all filled with dung okay cow dung they did not understand anything okay then what happened you see the peasants the peasants came in huge numbers outside the court to support gandhi ji to bahar jo hai pure peasants ke group aa gayi all the entire group of farmers they had come outside to support gandhi ji now the officials became afraid that this had never happened in champaran pehle to champaran mein aisa bilkul nahi hua tha itna resistance to unko kabhi nahi mila aur itne followers unhone kabhi nahi dekhe this british people so now what happened is that <clears throat> the officials were unable to control the crowd and gandhi ji was set free तो जो ब्रिटिश ऑफिसर्स थे वो जो है क्राउड को कंट्रोल नहीं कर पाए क्योंकि वो लोग बाहर जाके नारा लगा रहे थे कि गांधी जी को छोड़ दो गांधी जी को छोड़ दो एंड ह्यूज नंबर हैथ गार्डन देयर सो दिस ब्रिटिश पीपल बिकेम अफ्रेड एंड गांधी जी वॉज सेट फ्री गांधी जी को उन्होंने छोड़ दिया देन यू सी दैट ऑल द प्रोमिनेंट लॉयर्स इंक्लूडिंग राजेंद्र प्रसाद ब्रिज किशोर बाबू मौलाना मजहरुल हक अराइव इन चंपारण टू सपोर्ट गांधी जी तो बहुत बड़े बड़े लॉयर्स जो है वो चंपारण आए टू सपोर्ट गांधी जी एंड डिसाइडेड टू गो टू जेल विद गांधी इफ यू वर सेंट टू जेल तो उन्होंने डिक्लेयर किया दीज पीपल यू सी राजेंद्र प्रसाद ब्रिज किशोर बाबू मौलाना मजहरुल हक ऑल ऑफ देम दे सपोर्टेड गांधी जी एंड दे डिक्लेयर दैट इफ गांधी जी विल बी टेक इन टू जेल देन यू यू विल हैव टू टेक अस टू जेल टू उन्होंने ब्रिटिश को पूरा धमकी दे दी दे वॉन्ट द ब्रिटिश पीपल दैट इफ यू टेक गांधी जी टू जेल देन यू विल हैव टू टेक अस टू जेल ऑल्सो ओके बिकॉज गांधी जी हेड डन नथिंग यू जस्ट केम टू हेल्प द फार्मर्स तो उन्होंने डिक्लेयर किया तो नाउ यू सी ब्रिटिश पीपल बिकेम लिटिल अफ्रेड बट दे आर लाइक अगेन यू सी दे आर वेरी क्रूअल पीपल यू सी ब्रिटिश पीपल आर वेरी क्रूअल पीपल एंड दे थॉट दैट दिस इंडियन पीपल आर चैलेंजिंग अस एंड वी कैन नॉट एक्सेप्ट सच चैलेंजेस सो लेट अस डू समथिंग टू ड्राइव अवे गांधी जी फ्रॉम गांधी फ्रॉम हियर तो गांधी को यहाँ से भगाना बहुत जरूरी है तो कुछ करना हो But you see what happened. Gandhi ji received a written communication that the Lieutenant Governor had dropped the case. This was the beginning of the triumph of civil disobedience in India. So British finally hard gave them. So British ne sare cases Gandhi ji pe bahut cases lagi. You know several cases were uh, filed against Gandhi ji. And finally when uh, these British people they saw that uh, a whole group of peasants, lawyers had come in support of Gandhi ji, these British people jo hai they became afraid. so they dropped all the keys okay unhone sara case jo gandhi ji pe laga tha wo sab unhone dismiss kar diya aur gandhi ji ko chhod diya so this was the beginning of the triumph of civil disobedience in india this was the, actually the first civil civil disobedience civil disobedience aapko pata hai ki aap government ke against agar jaate hai aur aap jeette bhi hai wo cheez to use hum kehte disobedience matlab aap obey nahi kar rahe hain government orders ko और गवर्नमेंट जब हार जाता है तभी ये सक्सेसफुल होता है गवर्नमेंट इज डिफीटेड ओनली देन दिस इज सक्सेसफुल तो दिस वाज़ द एक्चुअली बिगिनिंग ऑफ द सिविल डिसोबीडियंस मूवमेंट ठीक है सो इनिशियली यू सी आई जस्ट टेल यू वन थिंग दैट गांधी अलोंग विद हिस टीम ऑफ लॉयर्स कंटिन्यू इज इन्वेस्टिगेशन एंड मेट द लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर फोर टाइम्स तो यहाँ पे ये चीज है इससे पहले बिफोर दिस लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू वन थिंग दैट गांधी जी स्कोल्ड इट्स सम लॉयर्स some indian lawyers for charging huge fees from from huge fees from the peasants he scolded the lawyers that why are you charging huge fees actually in the beginning you see these farmers had approached some lawyers in champaran actually okay and these lawyers actually took advantage of the peasants and were charging huge fees from them for fighting the case so gandhi ji in the beginning when he came to jb kriplani's house after that he actually scolded these lawyers that why are you your indians why are you charging huge fee, fees from the farmers okay and it is useless going to the courts hame kuch aur tarika dhoonna hoga we'll have to find some other way to fight against the british okay because going to the courts will not bring any results so we must fight some other way theek hai itna aap yaad rakhiye theek hai he scolded the lawyers also so gandhi along with his team gandhi unke pure team ke sath of uh, team of lawyers he continued the investigation wo har to manne wale nahi the he wasn't afraid of the british at all he had a huge supporting group also so unhone continue kiya apna investigation continue kiya and he met the lieutenant governor four times char baar unhone lieutenant governor se meet kiya aur un- unko samjhaya he tried to explain them 
that you see that you are actually creating a huge burden on the farmers stop doing this okay stop doing this and indirectly gandhiji tried to explain them that this country belongs to the indians not to the british people okay so stop doing this now you see what happened <clears throat> so finally you see the left hand governor also became little afraid frightened and finally an official inquiry was ordered to so finally a official inquiry shuru hua from the british government side and gandhi accepted 25% of the money offered to the farmers as a refund to so, jitna paisa farmer logo ka gaya tha okay british government ne ye uh, offer diya the british government offered that we will pay 25% of the money to the farmers as refund amount and gandhi ji accepted the offer chaliye theek hai you pay 25% of the money as a refund to the poor farmers now you see this gave courage to the farmers the farmers bahut khush the the farmers were happy and this gave them courage and marked their victory over injustice and exploitation obviously the british people were doing injustice and exploitation to the poor uh, farmers so it was a victory wo log jeet chuke the ye farmers jo hai ye ek shuruaat hai the the beginning victory okay the the beginning of victory uh, say ye mark hua theek hai after this gandhi worked for the to ye problem solve ho gaya this problem was solved now now gandhi ji thought that something you know some other areas needs development kuch aur bhi cheeze hai जिनका डेवलपमेंट करना बहुत जरूरी है एंड गांधी वर्क फॉर द इकोनॉमिक एंड कल्चरल डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द एरिया ओके दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट गांधी जी नाउ यू सी ही डिड नॉट लीव दैट ही डिड नॉट लीव चंपारण इमीडिएटली ही थॉट नो वी मस्ट डू समथिंग एल्स आल्सो सो इकोनॉमिक एंड कल्चरल डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द एरिया वॉज मस्ट सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ देसाई नरहरी पारिक देयर वाइफ गांधी जीज वाइफ ओके ओन वाइफ गांधी जी सन okay with the help of all these people gandhi ji opened schools there because education is very important for everybody otherwise uh, these uh, poor farmers illiterate farmers will always be fooled by the british people by the british government by the landlords okay so gandhi ji opened schools there and he taught cleanliness okay he taught cleanliness to the uh, village people in champaran and also sanitation right now our pm modi is also paying huge concentration on uh, swachh bharat right the clean india campaign so it was actually started by whom it was started by gandhi ji this is just a model okay he's he, on his model only now these things are going on that sanitation cleanliness are very important okay so gandhi ji opened schools and taught them all these things okay a volunteer doctor also came to improve the appalling state of the health services now one doctor also was there this doctor he came himself he came and said that i will uh, you know uh, do treatment for free i will give my free service to the people here okay and he came to give his free health service wo apna ek free health service dene wahan pe aaye type of a health camp okay he had set up a kind of a health camp and he came himself to help the uh, villagers there okay gandhi taught a lesson of self reliance self this lesson was is is one of the most important lessons that even students must follow actually and that is why i like this story very much mujhe kahani isliye pasand hai kyunki self reliance atmanirbhar hum kehte hai na again you see pm modi says atmanirbhar bharat so this self reliance came from where from gandhi only that atmanirbhar bano you become self reliance okay trust in yourself trust in your hard work be self reliant okay so he taught this lesson of self reliance to his followers by refusing the idea of keeping charles freer and reuse in india to help him so there is a british person he is very good he is good he is not bad this charles freer and reuse he came to gandhi ji and said that gandhi ji i respect you very much and i would like to help you but gandhi ji refused his help gandhi ji said that no my fight is against the british you are also a british and i don't want to take help from any british you are good and thank you for offering your help you are good tum bahut achhe ho tumne apna tumne help offer kiya iske liye main shukriya ada karta hu i thank you for offering your help but i cannot take your help because you are also a british and my fight is with the entire british government okay so i will not take your help so this is again self reliance that i trust myself i don't need a british person to help me we indians are self sufficient self reliant so this indianness thing again came in him as per gandhi it was a sign of weakness obviously 
taking help from a British person. My fight is against the British and again I am going to take help from the British. What does it mean? So if I now take help from the British, this means this is a sign of weakness. I was weak. Okay, I shouldn't take help. Okay, it, it was a sign of weakness to seek the help of an English man to bow their efforts. So I will not be able to do that. Because if I take help from the British today, then the other you know, bad British people they would think that, see, Gandhi has taken help from the British only because Indians do not have capacity to fight uh, on their own. Okay, they can't learn, they have taken British ka help. So, Gandhi ji did not want it, all these things. See, straight away, very politely, he refused Charles Freer Andrews. Okay, so finally, you see, thus Champaran became a symbol of self reliance and Indian independence. So, this is the this, this struggle for Indian independence, it started from here and technically you see that uh, the first victory that came was from there only. The first victory against the British actually came from there. Though the British people did not leave India immediately, it was, we all know it was in 1946, uh, 47 that we got our independence. 47 we got independence but the process started from 45, 46 only almost okay. At that time British were all leaving but 1916, 17 at that time okay that was the, the champaran incident was actually technically the first uh, indian independence that we had got in one particular area this champaran so us particular champaran area mein hame pehla victory mila we got the first victory through gandhi ji and because gandhi ji had a great uh, set of followers with him who also participated uh, in this uh, struggle for Indian independence. So, Champaran became a symbol for self-reliance. Self-reliance, why? We did not take any help from outsiders. Secondly, we had uh, defeated the British people. So, it's a victory. It's a very small victory, but the starting victory for India's independence. So, this is the story. And again, I would like to request all of you that please do a very good book reading there are important days there in the story i cannot go detail in here i will see whatever stories and poems i explain you for class 12 i will explain you in short to the point so that at least you can understand the story agar aap kahani samajh jayenge you are in class 12 now okay so aap kahani samajh jayenge when you understand the story you will be able to uh, understand the whole concept also so i would bring short explanation for all of you and this class 12 thing would continue Okay, so that's all from me for today. Thank you so much for watching the video and class 12 students don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Okay, right now I'm having class 9 and 10 subscribers more but class 12 students uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, you invite your friends also. Okay, like and share my videos. Okay, through your uh, social media handles also you can share your videos and yes, one more thing. You, I have a website also and I upload notes on that website though I have not uploaded any class 12 notes there but still omnigyan omnigyan dot blogspot dot com I will be giving this link in the description box also this is my website you can just go and follow me on the website because I will be uploading many important notes for class 12 there English and additional English both I have started English. Let me complete English first, then I'll, uh, you know, explain you additional English also. So you will find all the notes there. So I would like to request you as for now, please go and follow me on the website. I am there on Instagram also. I will give you the link. Please follow me on Instagram. I am there on Facebook also. I am there on Facebook also. I have provided the link in the description box. Just go down and check the description box for all the links. Okay. So. Follow me there because important, important updates I give there also, which will be very important for you. So that's all from me for today. Thank you so much for watching my video with love from Omnigan and all the best to all of you. Thank you.